Hi guys, welcome to SimUK. Today I can show you an early access preview to a copy of Argos. Now this has absolutely nothing to do with the Argos warehouse store that's located in the UK, nor does it have anything to do with the city of Argos from Greek mythology. This is Argos, an indie VR escape room title built using the Unreal 4 engine. It's an adventure indie title from developers Luca Toko and published by Pixels Design. It releases on the 31st of May 2018 and I don't know how much it's going to cost. So straight off the bat, let me just say that this is a fantastic looking title. It's really good. The game is set in modern times, but at the beginning of the game you are instantly transported to a medieval alchemist chamber. Graphically, it just looks excellent. The puzzles are varied and at times they're tricky enough, but you can figure them all out. I'll try and not show any spoilers today. I managed to open six doors in about 90 minutes of gameplay. I don't know how many there are in total, but the majority of doors were opened with a traditional key. Some, however, do require a little outside of the box thinking and quite a bit of searching. There are some puzzles and potentially some red herrings too, but as I haven't completed the game, I can't say for sure. The game utilises light and fire very well, and seemingly everything is destructible. Uh, be careful though, because some things are more important than they might first appear. The game supports both the HTC and Oculus Rift, but like many games who say this, there seems to be a, a much greater leaning towards the HTC Vive, for example, all the menu uh, examples are referencing the HTC controller and nothing really references the Oculus Rift. I did have some small controller issues, but everything was pretty easily overcome, but it was mildly irritating. Nothing considerably bad, just often find when I'm using the Oculus Rift that this kind of affects Oculus users more than HTC users. Not always, but that's kind of how it felt in this game as well. The game can be played using room scale, standing or even sitting. Uh, room scale obviously being the best choice, but you really do need a decent sized play space in order to utilise um, the, the, the room scale in this game. Uh, there's no way to rotate the character in game without physically turning yourself. My play space is actually pretty small. It's borderline too small and I really did struggle a bit. I had to be sort of use some out-of-the-box positional thinking in order to uh, get access to certain things. This is also a very demanding game, understandably so. It looks so fantastically good. My GTX 970 and i7 Core 4770K could only manage 30 FPS. That's a third of what you really want in a VR title. Having said that, it still looked great and it ran pretty well considering this significant limitation. Um, the recommended minimum specs are a GTX 1060 plus an i5 3450 uh, 3, or above, uh, and the recommended is an i5 4 an i an i5 4590. If you've got the PC that can run this game, then you're really, really going to enjoy it way more than I did, and I really enjoyed it. So hopefully that's a good significant indication. So um, I would say based on my limited skill in uh, sort of room escapology, if you will, that this is probably going to be a challenge for the majority of people. Unless you either cheat, get lucky, or you're super, super smart and observant, then I think you will have to be thoughtful and methodical in order to get through each of the rooms. And they seem to get a little bit more difficult with each door that you go through. The game supports a whopping 27 languages, but the website is pretty poor and almost, I'd say, pointless. That being said, this is only the first chapter, so we can expect to see more to come. And because of the setting and the way that it's all set up, it's not restricted to just one time zone or location. I can't wait to see what is coming next. This is an excellent game on all levels. I have to say I recommend it with two caveats. As this is a preview review, I don't know what the price is going to be, and because I haven't completed the game yet, I don't know what the length of the game is going to be. But as long as these two things are in balance, then in one word, this game is just tremendous. Really good, really, really good. Highly recommend it based on uh, the experience I had today. It was really good fun, it looks fantastic. And I'd be really interested to hear anybody's thoughts who um, 
who buys this game and they play it and just i'd be interested if it works better on an htc vive or not so anyway my name my name is mike this is sim uk thanks for watching today until next time goodbye for now